What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my Platinum playthrough for Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. Guys, we're on part number 7 right now. We have just done the Fire Crystal. Man, two crystals down already. We are now literally more than halfway through the game, guys. We are past the 50% mark. Kind of crazy how quick that has gone, isn't it? Anyway, what are we going to do right now? Well, we are going to go ahead and get the airship. So, in order to do that, we are going to have to go over and get the levy stone. Which does, of course, mean... I went the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it does, of course, mean we are needing to get the levy stone for the airship. So, we have to go over to the Cavern of Ice. And that is located pretty much just down here. You see that little doorway there? That is where we are going. Also, fun fact, this place is very similar to the um, the volcano in that there are some places in here that will actually damage us when we step on them. There are also some, uh, some trap doors, okay? And by trap doors, I mean like ice that's... It's just going to break, basically. And once it breaks you will end up falling through to a previous floor try not to do that if possible otherwise it will be a bit of a pain in the ass it's easier to just sort of go through in order basically and of course uh, we are in a new area so we need to turn encounters on enemies in this area are the wraith white dragon winter wolf mind flayer ice gigas spectre Remoraz and Dark Wizard. Just be warned, Remoraz and uh, Mind Flayer are ridiculously, ridiculously rare, okay? So I wouldn't really bother farming for them too much, but it's, it's just one of them, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go, shall we? So, as I was saying, the Ice Cavern is very similar to Mount Ghoul in the fact that, obviously, you know, you will get damaged by stepping on some sections of the floor. But also, also, we are going to get a new weapon in here. And in fact, I need to change Glitzy's sword because obviously a lot of enemies in here are the Ice Element. So that is unfortunately not going to be doing too much for us right now. However, we are going to get a fire sword in here, which naturally will do a lot of damage. Right, so let's see. Which is my best weapon other than the ice brand? I think it is this axe. Yeah, it's this axe. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna take the uh, the ice brand off him just so we actually deal full damage to everything, and then once we get the fire sword in this dungeon, we will equip that. And oh my god, two ice dra uh, two white dragons already, dude! Seriously, this is like hella unlucky. This is like really, really, really unlucky to get both like to get a pair of them this early in the dungeon. That's well, I suppose it's unlucky and it's also lucky in the sense we get them for the bestery. But yeah, look, look at how much damage they've done. It's kind of it's kind of crazy just how much damage they actually do. Thankfully, the fire did go off, though. At least they drop a huge amount of gill. But we are going to have to heal now, unfortunately. And I'm basically out of potions as well. Yay. Well, at least I've got high potions, so it's not it's not too bad. We can just uh, we can just spam them pretty much. So anyway, uh, we are going to uh, we are well we are going to go down those stairs. You see down here the dead end. Yeah, we have to go over to this section later. Okay, so I wouldn't worry about that too much for now. We will end up back there later. For now, in this little section right here, we're just going to go straight on through to the next set of stairs. And oh my god, another set of white dragons. Seriously. Okay. Um, in the next area, we are once again just going to go straight through to the stairs as well. There are quite a few bits of treasure in this dungeon, but none that we can none that we can get right this instant. And we do also have to be very, very careful with some of them as well, because they are surrounded by the ice cracks, and we do not want to stand on them until we have to basically and of course we want to stand on some very specific ones as well that's really really important some of them do have to be very specific and we've got two fire riggers left after this one so i might have to use some ethers soon as well unfortunately my riley is getting hit pretty hard though hmm. well either way it, it should be it should be fine yeah it should it should be fine we can we can hope right we can hope at least we are getting a 
boatload of gil. I mean, how much do we have now? 337,000. I mean, we are going to need 40,000 later for story progression. But yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of gil. Okay, so now we are here on B2. So now we're going to go over into the bottom door that you might have just seen. In that room is going to be the uh, the levy stone that we need to, you know, progress on with the story. Because that's what we need to get the airship. However, we can't actually get it right away, okay? It is surrounded by the cracks in the floor. One thing to note, however, be careful, okay? Be careful. There are two treasure chests in that room that we need to grab right now. If we don't grab them right now, it means backtracking later for them. And it's going to be a royal pain in the butt. So whatever you do, just be careful of the ice cracks on the floor. Because if you step on that, well, you, it means you're going to have to come all this way again later. I mean, granted, with no encounter, that's not really that big of a deal. But, you know, it's still... Ideally, you would want to avoid doing that if possible. So, you know, it's just... It's one of them. It's one of them. All right, hopefully this fire rigger goes off before... Yeah, it did. Sweet. It's all right. I just... I don't want to waste MP only killing, like, one or two mobs. You know what I mean? If I'm going to use MP, I would rather actually kill everything, pretty much. But yeah, watch these cracks. Do not step on them. Make sure you open these two treasure chests first. And we got the Dark Wizards. Okay, so these, I do believe, are actually undead. So Diara should work on these, but Fireugger definitely works on them. And they are weak to Fireugger. Hmm, they have it as well, actually. That... 100 damage that's not terrible i can i can live with 100 damage yeah i can i can live with 100 damage i probably should have gone for the left chest first though because that one doesn't have a monster right so there's that one and we got clothes a completely pointless item uh, in fact i'm gonna heal because they did actually do quite a bit of damage to me didn't they right okay now we can get this treasure chest this one guys oh come on really really you're gonna give me a battle right there of all places of all places oh i'm out of fire again. okay we'll use fire oh man why couldn't it just wait until i'd already opened the fire uh, until i'd already opened the chest because in that chest is the flame sword which obviously is going to be quite strong and it's going to be fire elemental as well so, it's going to deal a huge amount of damage to basically everything in here. So, we really, we really, really, really want that. Just a shame the boss in this dungeon is an absolute joke. Okay, so there is the trophy for getting 50% of the bestery item. 50% uh, of the bestery. At the end of this dungeon, we'll also get 50% of the treasure chests as well. Okay, so there's the flame sword. We're going to equip that straight away. So as you can see, it is a little bit weaker than the ice brand, but that's fine. Okay, we want the fire properties in here anyway. Now to use some ethers on Ruckus, just so I can get my fire rigor again. Okay, so now that we've done that, we cannot get the levy stone just yet. Okay, we cannot get it. So what we need to do now is just step on any crack. Doesn't matter which one you step on. They all take you to pretty much the same place. Okay, so right here, we need to obviously fight the wizard to get out of this room. Now, I know that it looks like a lot of enemies, but you could actually do this very, very easily with either Diara or you could use a fire rigger to just one shot them all as well. Obviously, they're all undead. They're all weak to light or fire magic. So you could very easily just, uh, just nuke them, basically. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we can actually get out into the meat of this area. So if we open up the map right now, so as you can see, you see those little spiky points, right? Those are the areas that will hurt you, okay? These areas will hurt you when you step on them. So it's very much like the uh, the volcano. They do one damage each. So again, be mindful of your health. Oh my God, we actually got the Remoraz, dude. Nice. That's really, really, really nice. That was one of the enemies I was worried about encountering. But at least, at least we got it. But yeah, Remoraz can be quite, uh, quite rare. So the fact, the fact we got that is quite, quite lucky to be honest. Anyway, let's get two treasure chests. One of them is Mithril gloves. The other is, as you can see, a monster chest with white dragons. However, once we defeat the white dragons, we get the ice armor, which we're not actually going to use. It's pretty much the same as the fire armor in that. 
um, it will weaken... Uh, I, well, the ice armor will weaken fire, basically. Right, let's get this treasure chest and then we'll heal up. Better to be safe than sorry with us walking over all the uh, the ice spikes, you know what I mean? Right, so now that we've got those two treasure chests, we're going to go all the way south, okay? And, oops, I was just about to head the wrong way. Yeah, we want to go all the way down there, so I need over here. And the reason for that is there's another room down in the lower left, which will actually have two. Uh, sorry, not two. It will have six treasure chests. And that is, I want to say, where we'll get the 50% uh, treasure trophy. Because I'm pretty sure it's this dungeon anyway, where the first half of them are. At the very least, it should be. So we'll see if we've uh, we'll see if we've got everything. Although, given that we checked the map not long ago, uh, I think we're going to be okay on that front, to be honest. And the fact we got half of the bestery as well is also a really really good sign that we are on track to getting everything. I'm not even going to bother using a fire go against just a lone white dragon. It's like that would just be a complete waste of MP right there. See, I mean, Glitz can just Glitz can one shot it, man. Glitz can one shot it. And you know what? Once we once we get the airship, I think we're going to go through and maybe get the jobs. So we're going to upgrade to um, Knight, Thief, White Wizard, and Black Wizard. Instead of, you know, uh, Warrior, Thief, White Mage, and Black Mage. We're going to get the upgraded jobs. Because that will pretty much be quite easy. It just means we have to go to the... Uh, the citadel of trials get the rat's tail and then we can just go over to bahamut but that lets us get the treasure chest there anyway without really having to uh you know like mess around basically so that should be a nice little boost for us as well in terms of health damage equipment and so on and so forth right uh more winter wolves yeah that's fine we'll just turn auto battle on for this so I might as well. We're only going to get the other characters to attack and Ruckus to use Firegur anyway. Although I do need to check his MP now because I think that might have been the last MP for Firegur. Let's go. Let's have a look. See. Yeah, 12,000 gil. And there we go. Veteran Treasure Hunter. So that is 50% of the treasure chests in the game opened. Uh, no, he's still got one more use, but I'm going to use Ephas on him now anyway, just to just to top him up a little bit, you know. Right, now that we have those treasure chests, we can go back up to where the path splits, just here. And then we can go towards the east to get out of this area. Well, I say get out of the area, we can move on to the next floor, I should say. Once we actually get rid of these white wolves anyway. Oh man, I really hope I've not just wasted this fire ago. If I've wasted this fire ago, I'm going to be really sad. <sighs> well, it is what it is, I suppose. It is what it is. And I tell you what, guys, since, um, since it's now Thursday, uh, well, this video will be going live on Thursday. Uh, so... You know, I am recording this ahead of time. I will be back from uh, from London. Hopefully, you guys would have seen all the cool pictures that I will absolutely be posting from the uh, from the FF16 event. It's like Square Enix were kind enough to invite me down to get a hands-on with the game again. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've been in withdrawal since the last time I played it, man. It's been it's been horrible. You know, it's been horrible. And of course, you know, I can I can tell you guys. Uh, about it and in the future you know i'll be giving you uh i'll be giving you guys all my impressions on the game as well so make sure you make sure you look forward to that yeah all right another treasure chest and just an ether we'll be using that in a moment uh oh pisca demon no that's fine we've already killed them actually haven't we i was about to say i thought that was the i thought that was the other version but it's not i thought that was mind flayer but no we're, we're not that lucky unfortunately we're not that lucky uh, at least at least we can encounter mind flare later so it's not it's not a big deal you know what i mean it really isn't a big deal the only one we are the only one that we're actually going to farm but for before we get to you know like the chaos shrine at the end of the game is is war mech i want to get war mech done right away because it is going to be a very rare encounter if we're lucky it'll take us two minutes to spawn him if we're unlucky it could literally take hours yes hours Warmech is ridiculously, ridiculously rare, unfortunately. But it's it's one of them, you know. What what can you do? What can you do? It's like, unfortunately, there is a bestery trophy in all of the remasters. 
<laughs> oh man, I tell you what, like for one and two, it's not too bad. One and two really isn't too bad. Three and four, I mean, there's so missable mobs, but it's, you know, it's not overwhelmingly terrible. Whereas five and six, oh man, 100% best around five and six is freaking terrible. There are so many missable areas, missable mobs. It is crazy how many like missables there are in five and six. Absolutely crazy. Either way though, there's a, another treasure chest. So now we can actually uh, carry on. So remember I was telling you guys about uh, you know, how we're, we were going to do this section in a bit. We're doing it right now. So all we have to do is go through here. Now be careful in this room, okay? There are three treasure chests. However, there is also a crack in the floor. Okay, there's also an ice crack. You want to avoid that as best as you can. Do not step in the crack, guys, okay? If you do, it's going to send you, like, way back and you have to walk through the uh, most of the dungeon again. It'll basically send you to the previous floor, basically. The, where all the uh, the ice spikes are. It'll, it'll send you to there. And then, obviously, you know, you have to walk through, come all the way back and so on and so forth. Right, okay. So, there's the ice crack, as you can see. Just... Try and avoid it. So we get a sleeping bag, an ice shield, and 9,500 gil. We are going to... Uh, oh, wait, no. I actually don't want the ladder, do I? I actually want the ice crack. I completely forgot about that. Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot. We we have to do... Uh, thingy. This will actually drop us to the crystal. That's that's me being a dumb dumb, that is. That's, that's me being a dumb dumb, unfortunately. Well, it is what it is. Alright, let's go step on it, shall we? Shame we didn't get the Mind Flayer, though. Okay, so be careful the way you step here, okay? It's a kind of a narrow pathway. You've only, you can only really go up one tile and then left one tile. Don't step on any of the cracks, so you've literally got to do all that over again. Heal up before interacting with the Levy Stone, though, if you're kind of low-leveled. It is a boss fight against uh, an Evil Eye. It's a really, really easy fight. This this boss has literally nothing that sets it apart, okay? Like, I'm I'm not even over-leveled for this area, guys. I'm literally not over-leveled for this area. That's just how easy that fight is. Anyway, grab the Levy Stone. So, there we go. You obtain a Levy Stone. So, now, with that, we can go and get the airship. First things first, though, we've got to get out of this dungeon. So, in order to do that, just step on any crack again. And I stepped on the exact same one, so we've got to fight the uh, the ghasts again, unfortunately. That is my bad. That, that's completely my bad. At least I still had a fire again. We are going to turn... Um, in fact, no, I'm not going to turn no encounters on. We'll, we'll leave encounters on, just in case I can hopefully get a mind flayer. We can get them later. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. We can get them later. I would definitely just... You know, raw forget them now, that's all. Oh, I just realized as well, I've got to try and farm for a T-Rex as well. Man, I hate the spawn rate of T-Rexes. Alright, oh well. Let's go. It's like T-Rexes, T-Rexes later primal's problem. Not not today's primal. Oh well, we've already killed the wizards, but I might as well, right? Um yeah, so in the in the desert, after we get the airship, when we fly to the north, there is going to be a desert, and one of the enemies there, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, oh, I'm just going to refer to it as a T-Rex, guys, okay? Um, it's kind of rare. And when I say kind of rare, I mean pretty rare. Wow, two Remorazis in one dungeon visit. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, actually, for sure. I'm surprised I got two of them. Like, what? Am I? Have I got everything here, actually? I think maybe I've got everything. Let's take a quick look at the bastery. See what we're missing so far. But we've done pretty well. I mean, we've got 68. Uh... Okay, so we're missing a few of the ones on the water. It's like, I already I already knew about that. Mm, I think we're missing one from the fire cave. And hang on, what's 70? 70? 70's mind flare. We can get that later. Yeah, so we've actually got all the enemies in here apart from Mind Flayer. Hmm, very nice. Well, in that case, we'll turn Encounters... No, we'll leave Encounters on just on the off chance I get it. So it looks like I will have to do a little bit of backtracking later to go back to the um, 
the volcano, just so we can get the uh, the last enemy there if I don't get it later. And we also hopefully need to get into a fight against the Neo Chu. Or, um, like the Neo Chu is going to be... Oh, wait, why am I using normal attacks when there's so many of them? <sighs> yeah, that's why I shouldn't be using normal attacks. Mm. How can I do this? Uh, right, you can kill him. You can use Stoner. And you can use Thunder Guy. I just want to make sure I kill everybody here. Like, I just... I, I was zoning out. I was zoning out. It's that simple. And then this is this is what happens, man. We get petrified and, you know... We, we could have got seriously hurt there in that fight with the cockatrices. Oh, man. I think I think that just shows I need to pay more attention, maybe. Right. Okay, so we do have the levy stone. There's no point going back in that room. So we're going to step on these stairs to uh, to get out of this place. Mm, blood bones. That's fine. We'll just, like, normal attack these. We don't need anything special for these guys. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really hoping we can get the Neo Chew when we get back outside on the canal. Because we do have to, we do have to go along the, uh, the canals again. So hopefully, hopefully, we will encounter it. Right. Still though, that is Ice Cavern done now. So we've just got to go all the way back. Wow, six scorpions, really? Oh, and the auto battle already went through. So I suppose I'll just like actually go manually. At the very least, Glitz and Ubert do kill a mob each. So. As long as Riley and Ruckus attack the same mob, we'll be fine. Oh, of course the poison lands. Oh, of course it lands. Typical, man. How typical. At the very least, I've got antidotes. I have to admit that my health is getting quite high on Glitz. Like, I would have thought by now that Riley would have overtaken Glitz. But then, stagging is a little bit random in FF1. But yeah, the White Mage does typically have the highest HP growth in the game. So don't don't be surprised if your White Mage is just ridiculously overpowered compared to the rest of your party at the end. Health-wise, I mean health-wise. Obviously, the Black Mage is just going to be squishy AF, though. He's going to be really, really squishy. Right, come on. Can I can I get a Neo Chu? No, I don't want an Ochu. I want a Neo Chu. I want a Neo Chu. Come on, just give me give me the Neo Chew, please. I just I just want a Neo Chew. I don't think it's gonna give it me though. No. At least I got the Hydra. We got the Hydra though. Because we hadn't we hadn't come up against that yet. So that's that's a new best we added at least. So I think now we are actually kind of just missing the Neo Chew from this area, maybe. I was trying to think if we got everything else earlier. I don't know, I can't I can't remember. I should probably take the flame sword off, though, maybe. Well, nah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll leave that on. I'm going to have to cleanse the poison again, though. Mm, antidote. At the very least, I do have a bunch of status items, so we're, we're fine on that front. Right, now we are going to turn encounters off because we are on the open sea again. And uh, unfortunately, no new enemies on the open sea. So we'll turn encounters back on now. Ah, we actually got Ankek to spawn. Okay, that's... Wow. Hmm. Yeah, Ankek here is really, really rare. That's that's actually surprising. You know, some of the rarer enemies, though, have actually seemed to be spawning slightly more often now. Hmm. Oh, well, first things first, let's go ahead and just go back to Crescent Lake. We're going to heal at the inn. And do I need to speak to the wizards again? Um... I, I can't remember if I do. I don't think I do. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I do. I think I can just go straight to the desert. Well, let's go try it. Worst case scenario, I just have to. I just have to come back, you know. So what we have to do now is first things first. I'm going to jump on the uh, the canal. So now we just go over to the side. Oh, come on, man! Still no Neo True, really. But yeah, the desert is located to the south of uh, Crescent Lake. Also, say goodbye to the uh, the boat. Now that we're about to get the airship, we're never going to touch that boat again. Okay? Literally, we are never going to touch that boat again. Now, at this point, though, once we, uh, once we get the airship, we can technically do a couple of different things. 
uh, you know, we could we could go and get best three stuff. We could go get some new magic. We could go to the Citadel of Ordeals to get to um, the Rat Tail, so we can get jobs on that. So it's kind of it's kind of a create your own adventure at this point, basically. That's probably the easiest way of describing it. Now I've already kind of got it planned out for what I'm gonna do, but that might change. You know that that might change at a, a moment's notice. Oh, White Croc, come on, man. I just I just want the Neo Chew, dude. Let's try one more battle. Let's try one more battle. Fine, I'm going to heal first. Yeah, I'm just going to try one more to see if we can get it. Because that's probably the only thing I'm missing here now, I bet. Come on. I bet you that is the only thing I'm missing. It literally is the only thing I'm missing. Well, and the uh, the fire stuff, but we can, we can worry about them later. Yeah, I'm going to try one more battle to see if we can get Neo Chew. I can't remember where exactly that actually spawns. Oh, we actually got it, dude! Let's go, Poggers! Streamer lock. Oh my god, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I can't believe we actually got that lucky, dude. Yeah, Neo is a really good enemy to fight as well. Even though it's red, it does give really good rewards. See, look at that EXP, man. If we had four times EXP on there, that would have been 12,000. Anyway, now that we have Neo Chu, let's go into the desert, shall we? Like because we have the levy stone, we're going to get a little cutscene where a mysterious airship just appears out of thin air. You know, I'd love to know how they get all the sand off the airship. I, I really would love to know how they got all the sand off the airship. Right, okay, we have an airship. It's great, isn't it? It's great. Right, okay. So now that we have the airship, we can uh, go all the way up to the northern side of the continent. Now at this point, there are numerous things we can do. Okay, there are numerous things we can do. Such as, for example, we can go visit this town right here. We can go to the uh, the ordeals, uh, the citadel of ordeals, which is located like way around uh, here somewhere. I think it's up here. Maybe. Where is it? It's somewhere around here anyway. Yeah. So there's there's the citadel of ordeals. If you want to get to that, you have to park the airship. Uh, I think it's actually at the very end of here. Yeah, you have to park the airship here if you're going to go to the citadel of ordeals. Uh, likewise, there is the Bahamut's uh, Dragon Caves and that down here. Don't worry about them for now. We're going to do them after we do the Citadel. There's another town right here, which I think I can land here. No. Can I land here? No. Where can I land? Uh, I can't touch it. Can I land here? Yes. Okay, so we're going to land here for now. I'm going to turn encounters off. In fact, no, I'll turn, I'll turn encounters on. In fact, I'm going to save first. Better, better to play it safe. Yeah, we'll save. We're just going to go to the towns real, real quick. Oh, we got the Lesser Tiger and Sabretooth. Very nice. That was, that was quite lucky, that was. Sabretooth can be kind of annoying to find. Which, yeah, now that uh, now that we've got the airship, I'm basically going to get some, uh, some equipment and some new spells. And then we're going to go over to, uh, to the Citadel, basically. And then from there, we can get the rat's tail, go get our jobs, and then we can uh, just go for the uh, the water crystal after that. Right, so this is Onrak. Now, straight off the bat, we are going to just buy some more items. Because obviously, I am completely out of potions, so we need a boatload of them. Get 94. High potions, we're going to top them up. Ethers, we're going to top them up. Like, I'm just making sure I leave at least one space. Uh, remedies, no, I don't really care too much about the remedies. So we're fine. Right, off we go. Uh, now, let's go get the uh, the magic, shall we? So I don't think... Yeah, there's no there's no equipment shop here in Onrak. This is where we have to come later, though, uh, for an actual story reason. So don't don't worry too much about, uh, you know, exploring or anything like that. Right, raise these casters, attack and accuracy. Terrible. Blind one enemy with darkness. Also terrible. Ignore them. Hmm... Although, I think there is another town with level 7 spells as well, actually. Right, what can we get here? Uh, Null Death Healigo. We're definitely going to get Healigo. Uh, because that is really, really nice. It's like a nice little uh, AoE heal. 
Like, that'll pretty much top us whenever we need it, that will. Right, with that done, though, we can we can leave. We don't need to go to the inn or, or anything like that. We are pretty much already fully healed. So, let's go back to the airship really, really quickly. And then we're going to go visit another town. Oh, we got the Hellhound as well. Nice, there's uh, another little addition added on to the bestery. Yeah, the next, uh, the next bestery trophy we get is going to be the 100%. All right, so I'm just going to double check because I don't think there was any towns around here. But it's always better to be careful. Uh, I know I have to go there for the caravan. We'll do that later. Uh, just want to make sure there's no other towns anywhere that I might be casually forgetting. Uh, that's where the water crystal is. Yeah, it seems, it seems we're fine. It seems we're fine. So we can just go back for the other town now. Uh, wait, was there anything in the desert? Oh, yeah, that's the tower. We do that later for the wind crystal. Uh, right, another town. Let's go get some more magic, shall we? So this is Gaia, and this time we do have equipment shops. And of course, we also have uh, two lots of magic shops so we have two white magic and two black magic so let's go ahead and visit these shall we uh right blizzard yeah we're definitely getting that for sure break uh well i can't actually get that that's weird i don't know why it won't let me buy some of them unless oh wait do i need to be a black wizard for it i might need to be a wizard Right, white magic, get cure No, I guess I can't. I need to be a white wizard. Okay, we're going to have to come back here, I think. I don't know if I can actually get any of the next ones either. Can I get any of the... Because I think these are level 8. Stop, warp, and kill. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, I can't get any of them. We need to be wizards for these. I'm guessing I can't get holy. Nope. God damn it. Oh, man. I was really hoping we could get holy, but no, we need to We need to get white wizard, so we are going to have to come back here. It's fine, though. We can at least go and visit the equipment stores right now anyway. Upgrade our equipment a little bit. All right, so ruby omelet. We need three of them, and yes, it's really, really expensive. Uh, protect ring, sure. We'll buy four of them. Man, so pricey. So very pricey, dude. At the very least, though, our defense is going to go through the roof right now. Cat claws. All right, now that's monk only. We don't have a monk. We can't use them. But now let's go ahead and just optimize everybody. Look at the defense growth, man. Look at the defense. We basically just doubled the defense for Riley and Ruckus. Right. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. There's an item store, which we don't need. Uh, we do that later for the fairy... Yeah, we can, we can leave now. We can leave. Okay. So at this point, there's one more shop for us to go to. And we're going to do this uh, right now. I was kind of thinking maybe I should leave this for the next one. But now nah, we'll, we'll just go through, get it done now. We might as well. We've done the other two shops. So we might as well just go ahead and do this one. And then we can do the uh, Citadel. And then we can also get the jobs. Uh, what else can we do? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to think. Um, I can probably actually get the fairy and the oxy ale next as well. Yeah, because I mean, it, FF1 is kind of quick. Like, honestly, if we really wanted to, I could complete this game in the next hour. Like, we could, we could literally just rush through everything in an hour. Especially with the no encounters. With the no encounters, it'd probably be even quicker, to be honest. Like, it really, it really would not take us that long. Like, five minutes to get to the water crystal. Five minutes to do the water crystal. Uh, another five to get to the wind. Another five to do the wind. And then just Chaos Shrine. It, it really would be that quick and simple. That's all we have to do. But obviously, we've got to get the best three and the treasures. Right, Lufuania. So, here in Lufuania. Oh, wait, I can't actually do anything right now, can I? Oh, I forgot about that. I could have swore I could do something here. Oh, it's because I don't understand them. Oh, I forgot about that. 
Yeah, okay, so there's, there was no point in us coming here. Well, it is what it is. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back there later. Anyway, though, everybody, I'm afraid to say that is going to be it for this video. Still, though, I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button and, of course, drop a comment down below. And for anybody new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, though, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.